Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island. Lines were drawn in the agitated alligators as Brick, Axel, and Eva made clear they wouldn't work with Trent, Damien, Ella, and Bierdo. Ravenous raccoons enjoyed their time of luxury until the challenge time where it was a task to get numbers to free their trapped teammate who was in a pond of rising water. Though B's weight was his biggest detriment, Dave's attitude rubbed the team the wrong way, sending Dave home. On the agitated alligators, Damien looks around before going to Brick and telling him that he wants to team with him. Brick says that's not really a good idea, he's not going to turn on Axel and Eva, but Damien says he doesn't have to, he just wants Ella and Bierdo gone. Brick is shocked at this and asks why, and Damien says that he thinks Trent, Bierdo, and Ella are going to team up to get rid of him before they would get rid of Brick. Brick smiles and tells him that he's welcome to join the team, and Damien is excited by that. Trent notices Damien and Brick talking, and in confessional, Trent says that he can't believe Damien was able to get Brick. Now they can get rid of Axel and Eva if they lose again. Beardo asks Trent if he really thinks that Damien is trying to ally himself with Brick for their sake, and Trent asks what he means by that, and Beardo says that he knows how paranoid Damien is over talking with Ella. He tried to tell him nothing was happening, but he is probably even more paranoid now. Trent is worried now, but Ella comes over and tells Trent that there's nothing to worry about. Damien will do the right thing in the end. Eva and Axel are both out foraging for food when Axel asks what she thinks about getting one of the others into the Alliance. Eva says out of everyone she'd prefer Trent, but Axel says she would prefer Damien. Eva says that that coward won't do anyone any good, while Axel scoffs and says that the musician has had to be carried in every season he was in to make up for his failures. He's pathetic. At least Damien can compete. Eva and Axel storm off angrily, not reaching common ground. On the ravenous raccoons, Joe comes back and is shocked to see Tyler still there. Tyler asks if she's alright, and Joe says she's fine, guess she's built tougher than him. Joe in confessional says that she's in serious pain, but she can't let the team see this. She just hopes that today's challenge doesn't need her strength. Tyler says that he's sorry for messing up yesterday's challenge, if that's what this is about, but Joe says that it isn't just that. He's an idiot who thinks he's better than he is. He needs to face the reality that he can't even be the water boy. Tyler just scoffs and says whatever before leaving and tearing up at her words while she isn't looking. Sammy notices Tyler's distress and goes to him before asking if he's okay, and he says that he's fine. He just can't stand Joe, and Sammy says that she understands that her sister was a massive bully to her, so she can kinda sympathize with what he's going through. Tyler asks where Justin is, and Sammy says that that's what she wants to talk about. She doesn't trust Justin. He had this fake aura to him, like he's just using her for an extra vote and nothing more. Tyler asks how she can be sure, and she says, trust me, when you live with a manipulator, you learn their tricks. B is watching as Wayne and Raj test out the new treadmill he built, and Raj says that B is really doing the team a favor by doing this. Joe asks what they are doing, and Wayne says that she really has to try the treadmill, and Joe says that she's fine before holding her back in pain. Wayne asks if she's okay, and Joe says that she's just fine, she just slipped on her back wrong yesterday. Justin is watching from afar and says in confessional that to finish his plan, he needed time to talk to B, but he can't do that with the Tweedle Dums around. Chris tells him that it's challenge time. This challenge will be unique. Both teams are playing for individual immunity. Both teams will be going to elimination tonight, and there will be no Boney Island to save them. The challenge is an endurance challenge where you must hold your weight for as long as you can on your back. The weight slowly increases over time. They all get ready and almost immediately Joe is out and Tyler seems thrilled by that. An hour passes and the weight is increased, causing Sammy and Ella to get out. Justin goes out next, saying that he can't risk the weight hurting his back. Another hour passes and Wayne says that he can do this for hours and Tyler agrees but he's struggling. Trent asks Damien to not be an idiot and to vote with them tonight, but Damien says that he would like that, wouldn't he? Trent asks what he thinks he will gain by joining them, and Damien says that he has guaranteed immunity for three rounds. Trent tells him that they will only view him as a tool before ditching him when he's not useful, but Damien retorts it by saying that it's what's happening anyway. At least Eva and Axel will be straight up with him when it's his time. Trent angrily throws his weight onto Damien, and they both are out. Another hour passes, and when the weight increases, Wayne and Raj say that this is no biggie, and Tyler tries to agree before falling as well as B, Bierno, and Brick. Only four people left. 
Eva looks at Axel and says that she's sorry. They can get Damien if they want, and Axel says that it's fine if she wants Trent, but they just need to agree on voting out someone together, and Axel says that if she gives up immunity, then Eva must vote for who she says, and Eva agrees. Axel gives up, giving Eva individual immunity for the agitated alligators. Wayne and Raj are bored just sitting there, and Raj says that they should do rock, paper, scissors, and Wayne says that's a great idea. They do it, and Wayne loses, so Wayne drops his weight, giving Raj immunity. Beardo goes to Damien and tells him to simply stop sabotaging himself, and Damien is shocked by how simplistic that was, and in confessional he asks if he's overthinking things. Tyler goes to gloat to Joe, but instead of snapping back, Joe realizes how vulnerable she is here, and she just says that she got caught lacking. Good job. Tyler in confession says that he really wasn't expecting that level of humbleness from Joe. This elimination will be tough. Chris welcomes both teams to elimination. Every person has reason to go, so let's just get to the marshmallows. On Ravenous Raccoons, the people who are safe are Raj, Wayne, B, Sammy, Tyler, and finally, Joe. Justin is completely shocked, and Chris tells him to be quiet. It's agitated alligator time. The people who are safe there are Eva, Brick, Damien, Trent, Beardo, and finally, Axel. Ella is saddened by this and Trent tells her not to worry, he will find a way to win this for her even if she's gone. Chris then tells them to swap teams. The two teams are shocked and Chris says that he never said it was an elimination round, you just voted them off your team. Ella says hello to her new team and Justin says to his team that he has no hard feelings about this. Justin in confessional says that there are definitely hard feelings. And that's the end of episode 4, what did you think of this episode? Question of the week, who do you think will find the idol? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.